talk about faith a little bit. Yeah. I mean, um, you're you're led by your faith. Mm-hmm. I mean, and well, what was I thinking? The question of, of oh oh if you know if if Doug Moffer or someone did talk to God, would would they ask him to heal the planet for us? You mm-hmm. know, like that sort of thing. If if because I've heard this from you know Mike Pence, and I've heard this from different leaders. Oh, yes, God spoke to me, and and um, this is the way we're going to go with this. Well, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that generally works for. Well, I mean, most people. I, I don't. I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, but I think. I mean, I know my belief system is that, you know, we we as human beings are limited in our perspective. Um, all we can control is is ourselves. Um, but I think that certainly God has endowed us with brains to interpret science and understand science and to not honor the natural world with what we, and 97% is that the number we found climate scientists that agree Mm -hmm. that climate change is real. To not respect that and take steps to ameliorate it would be foolish Mm -hmm. and would be, I think, going against the will of, of the deity. I would think it would seem to me and a matter of national security, but and that too, and that too. Yeah, my so my my faith perspective. Um, I'm an Episcopalian, um, and and it's a it's a mainstream Protestant uh, Christian Christian belief system. Um, but my faith pers- per, um, perspective is really what what shapes my belief in our our inherent equality, um, and, and it shapes my belief in all are equal worth. And that's what what gives me worth for me as a human is that I believe that I have worth because I am a child of God. Um, and that could be, I mean, that's the language that I use, but but people of different faith traditions all over the world use, use different languages or different words to express that same thing. Um, but for me, how that's, how my faith um, pushes me towards looking at, at how we as humans interact with, with creation, as you called it, or uh, the environment, um, means that we need, to, we need to take care of it. Um, and we need to, to not only take care of it, but restore it to, to make sure that our children and our children's children have a planet to live on. Um, and then make sure that, that we're respecting it and, and, and stewards of this land. And um, we, we've been talking about agriculture, we've been talking about climate change and faith and um, for me, when we're talking about agriculture and we're talking about climate change, it's so easy. It's so easy for for us to sit and say, oh, you know, farmers and ranchers are all conservative. That means they probably all don't believe in climate change and they're just denying it. And, and how crazy, how silly is that? And it's easy. I feel like it's easy to paint farmers and ranchers with that with that brush. Um, and I really, really would would push back against that because not only do do farmers and ranchers know better than the rest of us because their their livelihoods are dependent on the climate and on the weather and they are they see the ramifications and they're feeling the ramifications already they know that it's happening but they're getting pushed into a corner they're getting pushed back um, because they're afraid that when we paint ag with this big broad brush that it is contributing to climate change, that their toolbox is going to be limited. Mm. Um, they are agriculturalists are true environmentalists. They are stewards of the land. Um, but when we say that we're going to take away those tools that you have because we need to mitigate this thing called climate change, yeah, you bet that they're going to they're going to get fired up. Um, and so when I talk with and I do this a lot when I get to talk with agriculturalists about climate change, I like to talk about how we can actually use the way that we take care of the land and soil, whether it's in our farms or in our grasslands and our public lands and our forests, the way that we can take care of that land actually mitigates climate change. And so when we reframe that problem to them and show them that they are actually the heroes in the climate change story by the way that they care for the land, um, I find that we get a lot better results than when we say, you know, farmer, farmer Bob, you're doing it wrong. And I, as the scientist, know better than you. Um, so a lot of it for me is, is framing that and, and, and honoring the fact that, that, they are, that they are environmentalists and they are um, working every day harder than we can imagine to, to take care of our planet. 